Sag, welcome to your general reading. I hope you are well. I hope you are fabulous. What's going on? Show me Sagittarius, please. What is going on for that Sagittarian energy? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Sagittarian energy. What's up? What's going on for Sag? Wait. Mm, page of Pentacles. All right. Four of Wands. Nine of Swords. Okay. Okay. There is a desire here. <clears throat> Excuse me. To work or invest in our connection, a commitment here. Not a lot. Not a lot. I see some hesitation there. And it's not an accusation. We're going to see why. I have an idea of why. Nine of Swords. Okay. I have some investment from you in the real world to work on some sort of relationship value. That four of wands doesn't have to be commitment. Of course it could be, but it's typically some sort of relationship value, no matter how you want to label it. Okay. So I got a page of pentacles. <laughs> okay. I'm going to invest in my relationship. I am. It's, it's small. It's page of pentacles, but it's some sort of real result, but there's nine of swords attached to it. Okay, there's there's pain in the headspace here. There's fear, there's anxiety attached to it, which might explain why you're showing kind of small effort. Realistic with the pentacle, but still small effort. Okay, and trying to repair or show more, show more love in a relationship. We'll see what's going on. <clears throat> oh dear, here we go. We're kicking off with the throat. Show me the current. Show me that current energy, please, for Sag. Show me that current energy, please, for Sag. It could be a possible investment into entering a new union in the fairly recent past, but uh, showing hesitation, I need to see. What's currently going on? Three of Cups, Death, Two of Pentacles. Mm. There is a desire in you to connect, but we kind of kill it with Death. And Two of Pentacles, Confusion. There's something in you that would like to connect or reconnect, but you're struggling with it. it. Could be more than one connection I'm saying here. Trying to bring that love space together, but um, it's funny because death is at the very dead center of this reading. I got a two of pentacles attached or nearby. Mixed feelings about bringing something together if you should bother at all. Is something salvageable or is it not salvageable? Mm. Show me the future, please. Show me the future, please. Some of you could literally be connecting to Scorpio. In which case you still have mixed feelings about it. <laughs> Show me the future, please. Show me the future, please, for Sanj. Show me that future, please. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're working through some sort of change here. You are. I think you're trying to find... <laughs> I, just, I, just, I literally just heard... I still haven't found what I'm looking for by you too. I literally just heard that I still haven't found what I'm looking for, but you're trying. You're trying to open up towards change in a way that feels correct to you. You're working on it, be it in love or in life. I'm leaning towards love right now. <sighs> There's something in you that's trying to call it quits. I don't think you're ready to call it quits. It might be you just need to change direction. Perhaps there's things you need to work on in yourself. But you do seem to be open to change a little bit, even if it's just a little bit. Okay, we'll take a little bit. <laughs> You can always work with a little bit, okay? But this Page of Pentacles to the Four of Wands to the Nine of Swords, this isn't working so well. And I know that because when you try to put more of yourself into it, your fears are provoked simultaneously. There's something in this Four of Wands that you're struggling to invest more of yourself in. We're going to see why. Your current line... Three cups, no matter how you slice it. Okay, connecting or reconnecting. The whole point of that is it's still a cup value, emotionality. 
trying to bring something together on the emotional value. And then there's death here saying, I cannot bring this together. Under what context, I don't know. Okay, let me see. But trying to bring together that emotional space, it's uh, proving to be not easy. See that overview? Temperance healing, of course. Okay, underlying reflects the same. All right, so that's core principle today. Healing, temperance, and show me. Show me, Sag, please, and temperance. That's you. What's going on with you? Show me, oh, show me temperance. See, I'm trying to open up what makes us happy, and it does require healing to do so. Show me temperance, please, for Sag. Show me temperance, please. Show me temperance, please. Three cups. Both on the current line, or the overview. Show me. Nope. When you connect with somebody, it makes you feel good. It makes your heart feel big, overflowing. It even heals you. There's someone here whom you connect with that when you do connect with them, it seems to be in a positive way. It even makes you feel like you, because you're here. That is you. It makes you feel alive and joyous, maybe even a little celebratory. This idea of rejoicing in love coming together or connecting with somebody in love in that way makes your heart feel better, literally. It might even open you up to this concept of new love. But it feels correct in your heart when you connect with this person. Okay? It tells me a lot. It tells me a lot. It puts your heart in a good space. And you can kind of feel simply Simply speaking, simply sad. You feel simply sad when you connect with this person. It feels right. It feels correct. Okay. And three of Cups is also there. We'll see. Show me that page of Pentacles, please. Show me that page of Pentacles, please. Show me a page of pentacles, please. Three of swords. It's hard for you to invest because you have pain. That's why you show minimal love. Page of cups, page of pentacles. I don't think it's just you. Some of this four of wands, please. Show me this four of wands, please. Bingo, commitment. I got a full on marriage here. Uh, Taurus, could be. We also have Scorpio here. You, yourself, Sag. King Cups is underlying. Four of wands, Hierophant, yeah. That's, that's, you can't, well, you can't get more commitment than that. <laughs> that's marriage. Oh, yeah. That's bare minimum. We're committed to some sort of relationship here, but it, that well, you can't get much more authentic than the hair font over the four of wands. So that's full on commitment. And we're having a hard time investing emotionally in our commitment. There's pain in our heart. It's likely shared between the two of you, to some extent. So you both, I'm guessing, are showing a sort of minimal, low level investment in fixing the pain that's most likely shared between two people. I got two pages here trying to fix a broken heart. I got a commitment here too. Anything else please? There's rejection in both of you as well as being established, comfortable. Queen of Pentacles could be doing Virgo Capricorn Taurus.
the both of you are showing pain. The both of you are trying to show the barest of intentions in terms of addressing that pain because you are established. Now I am seeing marriage. Show me that Nine of Swords, please. Show me that Nine of Swords, please. The Fool, you wish you could be free from your thoughts. You wish you could be free from your thoughts, the anxieties, the stress, and the pain. Show me. No, show me. You would like things to change. You kind of wish things would go back to their natural fluid state. It stresses you out. And the idea of you opening up towards change is also scary. The Emperor. We keep much of this clamped down, hidden. The need for control. The need for control. You try not to let your fears get the better of you. Show me the issue between these two. Lovers. How so? The Empress. Six of Cups. Someone's energy is marked with another. Again, could be Scorpio. Someone's energy is marked by another. Strong connection. Very strong. Very strong soul bond energy here. <clears throat> Very strong. So I'm going to tell you this right now. <clears throat> Take what resonates, leave it does not. Reverse energies as it applies. Collective readings equal collective application, which means it may not apply to you, in which case check your the placements or I'll catch on the next one. Real life reflects real tarot. Real tarot reflects real life. And right now I'm looking at a Sag today who is in a commitment. Both they and their person are in kind of a pain that they, neither one of them knows how to fix. But it's a commitment and it's established. Somebody shows an extraordinary amount, you or your person, I don't know, fear that they feel they cannot show as the emperor. They both desire and are adverse to change, the spirit of change. They desire it, they pull away from it. They desire it, they pull away from it. I ask what the issue is. Someone's energy is marked with a strong connection outside of this commitment. It's very strong. It's not a threat. Not that I see. But it is an energetic connection that's exceedingly strong. Someone's energy is marked with it. It's kind of like the connection their soul craves, but not necessarily the one that they have. Okay? And it is someone of some significance. So we have the lovers, the Six of Cups. That's like saying soul bond twice. <laughs> with the Empress. How far it goes, I don't know. Energetically, someone here is tied strongly to someone else outside of the 3D world. <clears throat> very strong, very strong bond, very strong feelings. I'm going to set this aside for now. Whoever identifies here as the simper, the one who feels they need to control their fears and anxiety at all costs, someone who both desires change and fears it simultaneously, is most likely the one that's tied to that soul connection. This one happens in the real world. 
this one happens on an emotional and spiritual plane of existence, as far as I can tell. I know that when you connect with someone, this is you. When you connect with someone, you feel joy in your heart. It is simple. It is full of love. And it's easy. The way these things should be. Okay? It feels natural to you. And it's actually quite restorative to your heart space. In other words, your heart feels correct when you connect with this person. Could be this. Show me this three cups, please. <clears throat> Show me this three cups, please. Show me this three cups, please. Show me this three cups, please. Let me make this clear. This this is love. Okay. Three cups, please. That same person whom we connect with, we feel our boundaries go up. Show me why. That same full energy. This is the person whom you connect with that makes your heart space feel full, natural, easy, light. In other words, the love you feel when you're around this person is easy. What you actually display in the real world is caution because it provokes your full. So, this is you. You feel the anxiety. You feel the need to control that anxiety unless you lose your fear. No, sorry, unless you um, lose your sense of self. You both desire change. You want to open up. You want to greet that wheel of fortune with the arms of the fool. And you resist it simultaneously. It's right there. So how you f feel for love in this person and how you allow yourself to engage in it are two different things. This person provokes that fool in you, causes you stress, because I am seeing what it looks like a commitment elsewhere. Hmm. <clears throat> Show me death. Which is at the heart of your reading. Show me death, please. Show me death. The devil. Scorpio Capricorn. Show me how. Four of Wands. On the midline. Twice. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be scared. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. And that's if you resonate. It's okay. Anything else, please? Yes, it's coming to an end. And if you resonate with this, you already know that. At first I thought perhaps you will end the connection that uh, challenges you the most, but the one you feel the most love for, no. It's the commitment. It has been marked with the devil. 
I'm not saying it's bad. What I'm saying is it's no longer in a place of being healthy. And that's the way these things go. When relationships are not healthy and they no longer support us or help us, you can either choose to stay in them, as I saw Leo did, or you can choose not to. Making it a sad today who's choosing not to. I'm not saying it's easy, but I can see the pure love of your energy and where it's going. I believe you resist it because it does challenge you. You put up more of a fight, let's put it that way, in the past. With your emperor energy. Provokes your fears and anxiety of opening up towards change. That's who this three cups represents to you. But they also represent... Pure, naked, raw love. At a soul level, too. With the Empress. You're important to them, they're important to you. With that kind of soul bond energy, it's going both ways. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Two of Pentacles, please. Show me that Two of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. You want to do the practical thing. You want to be resourceful. You want to be reliable. You want to be stable. You might have some strong <clears throat> earth in your chart. What else, please? Six of Pentacles. But you are determined to make it work. To balance things correctly. To do things correctly. I'm glad to see you putting more care into yourself. And doing right by you. I know it can get confusing, I know it can get overwhelming. You're going to question yourself. I live in Texas. I have a very large AC, and it works fantastically. I replaced the whole damn thing two years ago. It had damn well better. <laughs> yes. You're putting more care and attention into yourself and understanding what is right for you. Okay. You also want to do the right thing in the real world. Not just by yourself, but by the situation. Which again isn't always straightforward. But you are doing it. Mm. This is in direct proportion to this. This is in direct proportion to this. But you know what the biggest thing was by far said? I almost always see in major commitments and relationships like this, when I pull pages surrounding pain, people either do one of two things. They understand they literally cannot give more of themselves to this to fix it. Or they just keep throwing pages at it. You're one of those people who recognize you cannot give more to this. Whatever this is. Not in the face of knowing. Oh, fuck. Don't start. Don't you make me st Don't. Good God. I can see that uh, just that kind of, just that raw energy of fun. Just that raw energy of pure love and pure connectivity is, um, it provokes me. And if you are so fortunate as to experience that, Yeah. 
I know what that's like. Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So simple. Connecting in that way and feeling so much in the simplest of ways. It's beautiful. It's a raw fucking feeling. And if you have that, it's gorgeous. And it's restorative. It makes you feel like you. You can't, be, you can't get better than that. You just can't. That's so much love. And, um... It's timeless. Timeless. Just timeless. Timeless. You two know each other in this life, and you might have known each other in the last. That kind of shit. That kind of cosmic shit. <laughs> it brings out my Oprah like nothing else. Which I am not prone to. <laughs> you notice the severity in which I started out your reading. I had an idea where this was headed. Until I saw this. That's some cosmic shit right there. It's beautiful. I can see your resistance to change while desiring it simultaneously, and I'm, I'm sure you're a very good emperor. I'm sure you kept your energies in control as much as possible and in check as much as possible. I can see why. But as small as this is, I promise you, the littlest things can be the most telling, which is why I'm all about the little things, because they are the most telling. The little things, you know, when you add them up, tend to have very significant weight. Which is why I always advocate the little things. Big things come and go. The little things. Honey, you have enough pebbles, they can make a mountain. You add a couple more pebbles, it gets heavier and heavier and heavier. You were both wondering how you can continue to contribute to this. And you both did for a very long time. Under the premise of commitment. And uh, being familiar with each other's energy with that Queen of Pentacles. In other words, you're used to it. But I do believe this is you. Over here, being emperor. In control. Fearing change and desiring it simultaneously. The person whom you connect with, with that easy love connection, is what challenged you the most and you resisted it, but your resistance started to wane. Do you know why? Because you're in love. And it's the simplest kind. It's beautiful. Do you know how refreshing this is? I know what this is like. Just to be in somebody's proximity and you can feel the ease in your heart. For the simplicity of that connection. How easy it is. Beautiful. You just feel it. When you're with that person, you just feel it. The connectivity is easy. So easy, it's stupid. <laughs> it's like you're not even trying. You just are who you are with that person and they are who they are with you. Somebody's energy, and I do believe it's yours. The one who you show resistance to, that three cups tying back to here, represents the strength of a phenomenal connection. So no, this is not done lightly. This is done so with understanding who you are. And being fair to yourself. It is no easy thing, death, devil, four of wands. Time back here, directly on that midline. It's okay. Take strength in knowing who you are and not in what you're not. This isn't you. It's who you needed to be. 
this is here. Yeah. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, that same Wheel of Fortune resisted back here, desired it simultaneously. Eight of Pentacles, working compromise. Show me this Eight of Pentacles, please. Show me this Eight of Pentacles. Are we going here? Show me this Eight of Pentacles, please. Show me this Eight of Pentacles, please. Oh no. Show me this Eight of Pentacles, please. You're working through it, that, that devil energy. Okay. You're working through it. Three of Wands. Four of Swords. You understand and anticipate your need for healing, structure as you continue to work to release yourself from that which has held you back. It's going to be a restorative journey, honey. I'm not going to say it's the easiest, of course it's not. But it's understanding is what needs to happen. Okay. It's going to be a process. It's not going to happen overnight. But the more you continue to honor yourself and what is correct for you, the easier this pathway will become, I promise. The more you continue to work, again, death and the devil are here twice for that four of wands. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Okay? But as you continue to work through it, I promise you, you will find peace in knowing what is correct for you. You are... How long has that been going on? A while. Fighting yourself, fighting with them. Page of Wands. <clears throat> we want that to be over now. Show me that Page of Wands, please. Show me that Page of Wands. My shoulder keeps trying to... It was USPS, and let me tell you something. No, they delivered a package, but it's not my package. No. My street address, unfortunately, is very similar to a street that is a couple streets over. <laughs> so now I get the lovely task of um, delivering somebody's box. Of course, I tried to flag him down, and uh, mm, nope, nope, can't hear you. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Or could you be mine? Or won't you be my neighbor? I'm an awesome neighbor. Mostly. If I was your neighbor. Oh, Sag. We could get up to some shenanigans. Let me tell you. Page one. Knowing you, you would have taken that package <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> and I'd be there laughing so hard. Because mm. I know it's true. Cheers, said. I got to tell you about the time. I got to tell you about the time I met a Sag who did not have to tell me they were a Sag. I have got to tell you that story. It's one of my favorite stories. I, I'm thinking about creating that whole series about how I knew your sign or how I met your sign. Cause let me tell you, I got some good stories. It's like, somebody said or did something. I'm like, you're sad, aren't you? <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, there's that. Page of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Starting over. 
starting over, but you have to keep in mind, honey, you're not starting over from nothing. You're starting over from experience. It's okay. It's okay. All right? I know. You're tired. But I promise you, you will get to where you need to be. You just have to keep at it. All right? It's a process. When you realize how much work you have to do to disentangle yourself from someone or a situation that requires this kind of level of work. So bravo to you for doing what is correct for you. Okay, endings should be celebrated always because with endings we have beginnings. So yes, you are starting over, but it's not for nothing and it's not for nothing. I see why you're doing it. So keep that in mind. Okay. Show me that Wheel of Fortune, please. Show me that Wheel of Fortune, please. Show me that Wheel of Fortune, please. P.S. Kick, uh, expect a little kickback, obviously, from um, the person whom you're breaking ties with. But for the most part, I just see you starting over. But it's not from nothing. I promise. Knight of Pentacles. It was a long time coming. This change was. It's all back here. That Wheel of Fortune was a long time coming. Okay? Slow and steady. I told you it was a long time coming. It was. Yeah, King Cups has tried to pop out. Mm -hmm. Your resistance is coming down. You are opening up. Not without stress, I know. But with balance and the correctness that is for you. Continue to honor yourself and where it is that you need to be. But I promise you, it's going to pull you out of the state that you have been in for some time into what is correct. Okay? I also know you want to do right by this person that you are exiting. That's going to prove difficult. Like I said, you can expect a little fight from this person. But, um, please know what you're entering is so much better than what you're leaving behind. You're committing to opening up. Cycle's complete. Okay? I want you to go be with the person who does this for you. But this was a long time coming, honey. Your energy's been marked with the Wheel of Fortune three times. I can see a resistance to it in the past. No, this was a long time coming. And as you continue to honor yourself and where it is you need to be, you pull yourself out of this state of defenses and anxiety, emotional detachment, and giving yourself permission to open up to the world. Hierophant is all about that permission. Let's switch real quick. I don't know why. What is in here, please, for Sag? There they are again. Six of Cups twice. 26 might be important to some of you. What if I get that so often? It's a numerical value I've been seeing often for people. So is that one. 629, 269, 926. I have been seeing those three repeating numbers many times.
anyway, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> in meeting with the Six of Cups energy, this lover is this empress. Okay. And for, like I said, the both of you, it's a two-way street. You both have that level of significance in each other's eyes and in each other's energies. Okay. As you continue to open up and that you continue to understand what your hopes are and what your wishes are and what your love energy is about. Okay. And who it's trying to connect with. September, possibly. There seems to be some critical energy developing now in June. Okay. Um... You've had strong markers of indication of ending around this commitment. I'm trying to... What, what else, please? Was there something else, please? And they obviously represent the emotional energy that you desire. The connection that you actually want. This is the one whom we connect with. This is the person that makes you heal in your heart space. That Three of Cups is there again under the restorative energy. That is yours as well as the Four of Swords. Again, when you connect with this person, it's restorative. And it feels correct and it feels natural because it is. Okay? It is love energy. It is sexual healing as well. Um, it's your wish fulfillment and it also has committed principles attached to it. Okay? In other words, you're getting to where you need to be. I'm exiting where you don't need to be. Can I get more on this marks of ending, please? Show me more. This the anticipation is finally over. Why did I say that? The anticipation? The anticipation's over? Anticipation. I don't know. Maybe it'll come to me. Can I see more about this death, please? The ending. It looks like a long, drawn-out process, but honey, I promise you, it's actually going to... And I promise you this. It's actually going to move faster than you know. And I know it's because of a long time coming. The changes that happen, you're going to work through them steadily. But it's going to happen faster than you know. I think your heart was made up a long time ago. It just took your physical energy a long time to catch up to it. When you work on this, when you act on this, it will be swift. It will not be a long, drawn-out process. I know that. It's going to be quick. But, at a pace that might be a little more manageable than you knew. Because again, it was a long time coming. Nine might be very important, as it ties to the ending. <clears throat> there seems to be something about this person's energy that's hitting critical mass possibly around June or the height of summer. Can I see more <clears throat> about the death, please? Eight of Pentacles, that's what you're working on. Okay. So when I say things like August and September, in my eyes, that's right around the corner. Um, Aries Leo Sag. Chariot Cancer. The Emperor. Yeah. It's like your person's going through an evaluation. You, I mean, as in your person, is going through an evaluation of your energy. It just feels so much love and passion. And you as the Emperor has felt called repeatedly to refrain and show restraint when that's not what you want to do. You actually want to open up.
it's it's like uh, yeah you know that it's like you've been in this position where all you wanted to do in your connection in your commitment because I asked to clarify that in this commitment all you wanted to do was show it love and passion care concern okay ambition drive but you have felt repeatedly that you could not be vulnerable that your love affection in this deck it's both that your love and affection had constantly had to be withheld or that it would not be received properly uh, that you could not feel safe in emotional vulnerability okay the principles behind you are actually quite strong but you felt you could not uh, execute those principles of love, desire, passion with open receptivity that you've had to refrain from that repeatedly and it hurt and it keep your fool keeps popping out because uh, it's not what you want it's hard to show that level of want and desire and to feel like you're always in a position of having to not express it because it won't be received it's hard for the Emperor to be emotionally vulnerable you know where someone here you get to express yourself without inhibitions hang-ups or bullshit like I said it's restorative feels good to be you right I know you had the best desires and intentions for your commitment but that's not how it played out and even if it did once upon a time it lost its way okay I'm gonna split I always like the, the three of cups in this deck. This is the deck of sexual tarot. Yes, I will get back on intimate readings, I promise. So in this deck, it's so beautifully intimate. It's giving someone else pleasure because they know they can. It's selfless, right? And the four swords is attached to it. It feels good to give your love energy without the inhibitions or feeling like you're not safe to open up in that way you know to have someone understand your love language without using words to know how to express your desires yes I see the world may I see page of swords the process like I said has begun and once you continue to move in that way it will happen fast it's in that place of just now investigation. It might hit full completion by October, upwards to the end of the year. Anything else, please? Strength. I got repeating energies here for you today. <laughs> Hair font, death. devil I know you find strength in connecting with this person a very strong sense of self anyway uh, we have obviously May might have been important of course we have heavy references to July as well as October I'm trying to narrow this down I'm trying to get into that cycle because I'm seeing one close and another open, which is often how these things work. Um, just a second.
When does one close, please? When does one close, please? Show me when it... Yeah. Show me when one closes, please. The process has already begun, I guess. It's marked by water season. Correct. The process has already begun, but may not reach fruition until Scorpio season. Oh, I just felt like I fell down a rabbit hole. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh. Sorry, I'm not trying to be dramatic. I just, I felt the cups. Dead center in my chest. Usually when something hits me, it's right here. I felt it here. You started to feel the loss of cups in the spring. Possibly much earlier if you had been paying attention in that way or you were knowing to look for it in that way. You may not have known really consciously until uh, May. was prior to that Pisces season. Quite possibly by last Pisces season. Could be Pisces. But she didn't really start to feel the loss of the cups till May. May seemed to be very significant for some reason. I'm not saying that the death occurred in May. What I'm saying is that the emotional confrontation started about May. For some of you, it's now, as we enter Cancer season, which is June 20th. Heavy water references. So I have Piscean season, May, and upcoming Cancer season, where we understood on a much more conscious level about our emotional change. As for the full ending itself, I do not know. Yeah, it was a long time coming, as we said, and as we've discussed. Completion. October. That's all I got. September, October. Somewhere around that bracket. So let's call that Libra season. Okay. Eight weeks. When does the world open? It's already begun. You're already, whoever this is, you're already massively energetically tied to them, but in all positive ways. Uh, and as you continue to connect with this person, it's literally restorative to your heart. As you understand, those same inhibitions you feel over here, it's not like that with this person. They know how to fulfill those things that... Uh, are easy and simple. They know how to give you what's in your heart. The 28th might be important, I don't know why. Yeah. It could literally be July 28th. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, you are moving into a new state of union with that person. And for the right reasons. Cancer season. I'm not saying you're going to get married in cancer season. It's not like that. It's uh, the advancement into a new union.
And for some of you, congratulations, you are getting married this summer. Um, but uh, that's not quite right. It's, it's, it's not quite right. Unless, of course, you completed with this person last October, but that's just not how I'm seeing it. The 5th, the 7th, the 6th, the 8th. There it is again. Why is the 8th important? The eighth is important, I don't know why. That's for some of you. Go back and check your messages. Perhaps you saw this person on the eighth. It could literally be Scorpio, but um, I'm seeing more. Yeah, fuck. This changes. No shit. I mean, it's, the timeline when it comes to this person's energy is diverse. There's confusion attached to this person, anticipation, longing, wishing for more, wishing for less, daring for more, not daring for more. Wanting to commit to change, terrified of change. Heavy Scorpio energy here, a little bit of Taurus and Cancer. <clears throat> stronger sense, I told you, we're, we're headed into a stronger sense of union. But not yet. Quite possibly by Scorpio season. Which, of course, is not until late October and late November. More so when this is complete, obviously. Oh. Heavy Taurus energy too. Five times. No, three three times with the Hierophant? Three times with death. We have a couple of devils here. Capricorn. Okay. It's also conditional, of course, with the radical change of union, obviously. Um, that we can enter into a new one. Oh, okay. Terror doesn't dictate action, you do. I'm looking at a Sag who has several consistent markers of what was likely a long time coming. Um, this strong soul tie. It wouldn't be here unless it was for your highest good. And it does require decisions made. Yes, that is how these things typically work. But I'd rather you make those decisions said than not. I'd rather you act as a human being who has a conscious will of choice than to act like you don't have one, because that's typically what I usually see. People who act like they have no choice. That is, in fact, when we have the most choice. It's just the choice we don't want to make, because it's hard. Just because it's really hard doesn't mean it's not a choice. You are making choices. And once you start acting upon them in the real world, 
it's going to happen first. Yes, there is a strong union that surrounds you. Potential strong union that surrounds you. <laughs> oh, I miss these. Big masculine glasses, yay! They always make me so happy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but these always make me smile. I have a friend who wears glasses like this. <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> I don't know, but you can't, of course, use your intuition or the person you're connecting to might be highly intuitive. J, crab, as in cancer, you might have cancer in your chart. Your person could be. X, hmm. the busy bee, Bzz, yes, you have much work to do. K, W, F, R, yay, I finally got new charms, yay. Matching pair of glasses, feminine and the masculine. Two cats. Highly intuitive to both of you. Yeah, some of you, your energy is... I got two people here marked with the busyness. I got the busy bee and the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Someone's always on the go. Someone's always busy. Octopus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I, E, G. Oh, God, that hit me so hard. May. The bull. Taurus. Camel. The reservation of one's feelings or conservation of one's feelings. Fish. Pisces. Okay, I was hoping to get some more initials, but um, it is what it is. Butterfly, transformation, Scorpio, stingray, Scorpio, heart with the nurse's cap, feel thy heart. Okay, I don't care. This is very specific. Someone's having a honeymoon in France. I don't care. Or vacation. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Somebody here going to France. I don't care. <laughs> Somebody here is going to France, either on vacation or honeymoon or I don't know what, but that's that's what's happening. As soon as I pulled it, I knew it. I just know it. I just know it. I just know it. I just, I just do. There's your arrow right there. It was headed right at that fucking Eiffel Tower. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. Sis. D. And then, um... Uh, the, the seahorse, sorry. Delicate emotional creature. Emotional vulnerability. Okay. That's enough of that. Congratulations to you for making those hard choices. I'm not saying the other person's bad. I'm not saying they're toxic. I'm just saying you're having to do a fair amount of work. To untangle yourself from something that looks like it was headed in a particular direction for a while. A sort of one way street. I'm, I'm not saying they're bad, I'm not saying they're a horrible person. What I'm saying is that um, once you start the process of investing in your freedom, and kind of disentangling yourself from that particular energy. You will be starting over. But not with lack of experience. Okay? It was a long time coming. And it's going to happen rather fast. But it was a long time coming. And perhaps that's why it's happening so fast. Because once you start choosing that direction, I think you'll realize it was kind of meant to be. There's someone whom you're energe energetically tied to that um, makes you feel like you. 
and I heard distinctly the anticipation will be over. Okay. So that's, that's enough. This one drained me, but um, in all the right ways. Oh my goodness. But again, good job on doing what is right for you. I've seen endings for you a couple times. But I'd rather you know and act upon what you know than to know and do nothing. Which is shockingly common. Okay? Put in the comments as you see fit. I want to fast forward past it because I know I've been seeing several kind of death cycles for you lately. I'm aware of it. Trust me, I know. Uh, the Sag Collective energy is kind of strong right now. I, I kind of want to fast forward the endings and things like that and just, I, I want to get you to the honeymoon. <laughs> so where I can just see you luxuriating. Oh. And your new love, which is very here and very strong. It's very beautiful and it's very natural. It is a changing of the guard. But it's one that you seem to be prepared for. Send me pictures from France, yeah? Okay. Put in the comments, like I said. Take care. Be well.